حبيبي قرب بص وبص بص حبيبي يا نور العين يا ساكن خيالي يا حبيبي يا حبيبي The word حبيبي in Arabic is probably in 99.999% of Arabic songs I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with this So the purpose of this video isn't necessarily to tell you there's a word called حبيبي in, in Middle Eastern culture It's more so for us to dig into the other usages of Habibi other than the romantic usage and also look at the word structure of Habibi so you can come out of this video with a bit of extra knowledge on the sounds of Arabic like the E sound and what's ya and things like that. So first off, the word Habibi, it's related to the word Hub. Hub means love, okay, love. And typically if we're referring to the concept of love, we'll say Al-Hub, the love. Al-Hub is Shihilu. Al-Hub is Jameel. Uh, love is something beautiful. Il hub. Or why did you do this? Hashan al hub. Because of love. So in this case, we're adding il, the definite article, which means the il, il hub. But if I just want to refer to a love, I'm saying hub. Okay, so that's the word love, hub. Now, habib is lover or darling, or words that kind of revolve around the person that you have a loving relationship with. So Habib, now feminine version of that, in spoken Arabic, there's Habiba or Habibe, okay, Habibe. So Habib and Habibe. And then when you add the, the possessive adjectives to those, Habibi and then Habib T. So we're going to be looking at why there's a T in there, what exactly the, the E sound is, and then what's Ya, what, what, is, what is it when we say Ya? Now, before we start breaking down the word and the sounds of Ya Habibi or the expression Ya Habibi, I'm just going to go over a few non-romantic usages of the word. So first off, we could use Ya Habibi to mean something like, oh boy, Ya Habibi شو عندي شغل. Oh boy, how much work I have. It's like saying, I have so much work. Oh boy. Ya Habibi شو عندي شغل. Another usage is between friends. Like we kind of use it sarcastically or to mean something like dude. So something like, like, what are you doing, dude? Um, what's going on, dude? Like, what's happening with you? What's, what's up, dude? Like, what's going on? Or, kind of like, which is very common in Palestinian and Jordanian Arabic to mean like dude or man. Oh, yalla habibi, yalla, 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 yalla habibi, bsura. That kind of thing. But it's not always necessarily just you think habibi is, is like a love word. No, it, it could, you could use it in these contexts as well. Sometimes, depending where you are, you could use it with strangers as well. In, in a shop, for example, instead of saying, لو سمحت كم هذا, excuse me, how much is this? I could say, habibi, كم هذا? Habibi, كم هذا? This is one of those things. You could use it, but again, just be mindful of its usage if it's if it's not used don't use it if you do feel that the city you're at people are using habibi with in the store to mean something or to to say something to mean something like my friend my friend how much is this habibi come hada go ahead and use it uh shukaman what else we talk about hala habibi um yeah that's just like hala habibi hey hey my friend again with the the friend usages but also one that I find is fairly interesting. This is this is like a slang way of responding to any type of compliment. So instead of saying shukran to a compliment, you could just say habibi, habibi. Because typically you'll respond with habibi, islamu idayk, habibi, shukran. Um, but sometimes we just say habibi. Like someone tells you like, mashallah, sayartak tir halwe, or mashallah shu, um, mashallah alik with whatever. Like mashallah knock on wood, with whatever case, whatever the case may be. Uh, Alf Mabruk, for example, um, like, like congrats, Habibi, Habibi. You can just say Habibi to mean something like thank you, like I appreciate it, Habibi. Tamam? But those are the non-romantic usages of the word. So just keep in mind, So because I know a lot of like Arabic, new Arabic learners and new students, they're like, oh, they hear Habibi, they're like, oh, what did that person mean? Is it love? Do they love me? No, not, not always. So just feel out the context. Um, we talked about a few examples where it's not necessarily just love, okay? Halla, we're going to look at the word itself. Halla means now, by the way. Halla. We're going to look at the word itself and kind of look at the structure. 
and I'll point out a few important things, okay? So let's jump in. Okay, so first off, we talked about the word love being hub, hub, and this, this means a love. Hub, if you want to refer to the generic term or the generic concept of love, il hub, il hub, il hub jameel, love is beautiful, okay? And then we said, dear lover, love or darling is habib for masculine, habiba or habibe for feminine. Um, the a or a endings, this again just has to do with dialect. In Levantine dialects, a lot of nouns and adjectives will end, we will end them in an a sound. There are exceptions where they end in an a. But for more on this, there's the video about how to pronounce the word coffee in Arabic. It's the same word, qahwa, but due to the interpretation of the qa, and the ta marbuta, which is this guy over here, ta marbuta, pronunciation changes. So if you're not familiar with this, make sure to check that video out as well. But back to this, habib, habiba. The e sound at the end is basically my. The my is a suffix. Suffix is anything that attaches after a word or, or noun. Is a, is a, it connects after the word. So e is a suffix here. It's represented by harf al ya. The, the letter ya here. So habibi, my love. Okay? Now, habiba t is how you would say my love to a female. The reason we have a t is because of this. This on its own, the ta marbuta, is a, it's a t sound essentially, but on its own it's silent. We don't pronounce the t. However, when there's possession involved, if I want to say my love, that's possession, right? Or if I want to say the, the love of or the car of someone, I pronounce the t. When I'm connecting it to another word. So in this case, there's possession. So I'm saying Habiba T. Pronounced Habib T. Habib T. Okay? So I just wanted to kind of point these out. If you're talking to a male, you're going to say Habibi. If you're talking to a female, make sure you're adding that T. Habib T. Habib T. And this is due to the Ta Marbuta. That's the technical answer. But short, kind of if you want just a shortcut, just know Habibi to a male, Habib T to a female. That's it. But for those that are... Some, there's some language nerds out there that like the extra explanation. The reason we have the T is because of the Ta Marbuta. The reason, and this is the Ta Marbuta again, literally tied up T. And the reason we have an E sound is because this means my, Habibi, it's me. And now that you guys know this, especially for the beginners, this is going to start ringing a lot of bells. You're going to hear the word or the, the suffix in a lot of words like it's me, my name. And then if you're listening to Arabic conversations, anything ending with an E, typically that, that you're going to know that it's my and things are going to start making a lot more sense. Okay. If you're brand new to Arabic, make sure to check out the mini course where we go over, where we answer a lot of the commonly asked questions about the different types of Arabic, what type of Arabic to learn. And also there's a mini sample of the full course. So you can get a feel of what to expect with the full course, which has over 100 lessons, including video lectures, audio scripts, audio clips, quizzes, multiple choice questions, and more. That's in the full course. So if you need more information, make sure to join the mini course and you can find more information on the full course on there or just shoot us a DM on Instagram. Um, but that might be tricky nowadays but because there's a lot of people sending DMs. So best way I would say is by joining the mini course leave a comment on there, but there is information on how to join the full course within the mini course, okay? Let me know if there's any questions. Hopefully this was helpful. Practice with your Habibi, your Habibtis, even with your friends. Try using Habibi. And like, Habibi, shuhada, my friend, what is this? Habibi, khalas, enough. That kind of thing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bashufkum il video jai.